I'm going to use the place command to find Spongebob's model and his colors. So these are from model sheets. I'm going to choose W for the magic wand. I'm going to select everything that's not Spongebob. And I'm going to go to select inverse. And now everything that is Spongebob is selected. So I'm going to zoom in on this. And I'm going to hit I. And I'm going to take a sample of it. Alright, now let's just start painting here by hitting B. And I'll get all of this stuff that is the outside of SpongeBob. Very easy to paint this stuff. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger by hitting right bracket. Right. Zoom in on that to get control of that. I will color all the holes. Color those cheeks. I'm going to color this one too. Now the only other colored lines are on his socks. So I'm going to hit Z and go over here and just pick up that with the eyedropper. And again, we're just coloring the self-colored lines. Anything that's a color fill will be done with paint. Grab that red from the outside, half level. Okay. Let's pick up this color, the B, color the anchor. Hit the I key, hit black, and then hit B because the button on top is black. It is not red. Oh, these holes are a different color. So let me zoom in on these holes. I'm going to hit I and I'm going to select that color. Need to recolor holes on the side of SpongeBob. Basically, these three holes are darker than the holes that are on his front. Use B, color in those nice holes. If you don't like the way that those checkerboards look in the back, if you go to Preferences, then go to Transparency and Gamut, you can then go to Grid, Colors, Grid Size, None, and then you get this appearance. Make the template visible again. Command S to save, and then we're going to open this up in ArtRage, and then we're going to paint it. So, hold on to your socks.